Welcome guys, welcome guys. So in this video, uh, I will quickly prove, uh, introduce the pectonic solid and uh, prove there are at least uh, five kinds of the pectonic solid. Okay, and uh, just for my own reference, let me first uh, define in three dimensional space, the pectonic solid is a regular convex polygon. So, uh, sorry, polyhedron. So polyhedron is like the, a higher dimension polygon. Uh, so for example, the famous is the cone, right? So this is the tetrahedron, or basically you can have the various cone. Okay, and it, it's drawn by congruent. Congruent means that identical in the shape and size. Okay, so basically, a platonic is very resti restricted because at each size it must be the same. Okay, and regular, all angles equal the same and all sides are equal. So basically, uh, this is not, not allowed. And uh, this only allows for uh, each side must be the same. And then only a polygon face. So it's, there is a maybe equilateral triangles or the a square, or basically this is the a hexagon, a, a polygon and hexagon. Right? So this is all possible and also other cases. With the summer of face meeting each vertex, five solids meets uh, this criteria. Okay, so this is. The famous tetrahedrons for each side is the triangle, equilateral triangle, and this is the, and there are total four faces. So let's summarize, there are four, okay, so there's four faces. For this one, it's called cube, right? Cube has each side is the square, so we have six faces. And this is the uh, octahedron, so octahedron each uh, face has eight. Okay, and uh, this is, uh, 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 actually, I don't know how to pronounce it, uh, but it's fine. Yeah. So each each side is the uh, pentagon, right? So it's F as, uh, and uh, you can check that there should be 12 faces, I think. And this is, I think it's 20 faces. It's called the uh, uh, isosahedron. So each side has, uh, each side are also equilateral triangles. Okay, maybe, and, uh, Okay, so in this video, uh, let's just proof. So proof is basically there are only there are only five of them. Okay, so no six. Okay, so the proof is basically uh, we need to uh, see what the PQ means. So let me define the PQ. So I define PQ right. So uh, what P means? Okay, so P means that uh, so I define a polyhedron has index PQ. The P means that uh, uh, means what? Uh, means what? Okay, so you see this is three, four, five, five. So you see P is the number of edges on each face. Okay, and the Q, right? So Q means that uh, at each Okay, so how many vertices? So how many faces attach uh, with a vertices? Okay, and by definition, uh, if the thing is called a pectonic solid, then PQ, then P is there's only one P for each uh, each shape. This is from the definition. And uh, the Q is also uh, uniform, right? So for each each uh, each vertices, there's only like the difference. So this this three means that uh, at each vertices, right, there are only three faces, and then this this has uh, three faces, right, and this has four faces, and this has uh, three faces, and this has the one, two, three, four, five five faces. Okay, so this index PQ. Okay, so the the point is that uh, we will show that PQ can only occur for these five cases. Okay, and the proof based on the, is the Euler formula. So the Euler formula tells that the number of edges. Uh, oh, sorry. The, that's the number of face plus the number of what? The number of vertices minus number of edges too. Okay, so by definition. The what we have is that uh, the number so p, the number of faces p times f is the total edges, right? So it's two e, right? Because you double count, right? 
And how many? Okay, and the Q means how many vertices, right? So Q V is a total number of vertices, also equals to two E. Okay. Okay, so that's here. So F is two E divided by uh, P, right? Plus two E divided by Q minus E is two. So let's see. Uh, we get the uh, one over P, one over Q is uh, let's divided by two. Uh, so it's one over E plus a half. Okay. And uh, the constraint is that uh, P must be greater of three, Q less than uh, larger than three, right? Because right, the the smallest uh, one is an equilateral triangle, so P must be greater of three, or and also three planes, right? Any three planes can determine one point, so Q must be also uh, greater or equal to three. Okay, so let's check. Okay, so the first case that is that uh, if P is three, then we get this one, right? And then we have this one. Uh, so it's one over Q. Uh, this one over six. Right, so the only so the possibility is uh, that uh, q equals to three. Then the <coughs> then e will be six. Right, so and also one can show this now the f right. So three times uh three times f will be uh two times six. So f four phases and the number of vertices is also four. Right, so this is the tetrahedron. Tetrahedron. Okay, and uh, so right, you see, you see that the uh, uh, so Q cannot choose six, six right? Uh, sorry, uh, Q Q. So you see, uh, so one might uh, argue that there are infinite, maybe infinite solution for this, right? But you can check that there's no other points. Uh, there's no way that you can get the infinite points because Q at most. Q minus something is one over six, right? If Q is, uh, let's let's maybe see something. So if Q is four, let's check, right? And you need to say check that E whether E must be uh, uh whether E must be uh integer, right? So it's twelve. Uh, okay, so E is six, right? So this is you are six. Uh, right, six edges, and also number of phases. It's uh, let's say three times f equals to twelve. Uh, so phases f uh four. Right, but vertices. How many vertices it has? Four times v equals to two times six. Right, you see. So there. So this is no. Uh, not the. Not the. <coughs> this is not the. Uh, not a law solution, right? So let's check. Oh, this is okay. Sorry about this. Yeah. So let's say v. How many v? Right. So we get the. Sorry, uh, sorry. This is a uh, one over twenty, uh, twenty-four, uh, divided by two, right? So e is twelve. Okay, so the four times v will be twelve times e, right? So uh, twelve. Oh, sorry, twelve times two, right? So v is six. Okay, and the uh, f is basically uh. 24 8 right so this is the this one this is the this is the uh, uh, octahedron okay octahedron okay now you can keep going uh, and solve less like, family q equals to 5 right and then you can check that uh, we can still get something so it is basically this one okay so e is 30 Right, and then you can solve. Uh, I think f is maybe uh, twelve and uh, twenty, right? Or or I just uh, let me check. So phase should be twelve, yeah, twenty. So it's three. 
uh three five oh sorry about it so face is oh sorry it should it should be 20 and uh, 12 okay so i think this is, is uh, this one okay and by symmetry uh, you can prove there is at least one five three right because you just exchange this okay so this is the us uh, we are already got four of them right so we have four of them by symmetry you get four of them and then you can check if you go to q equal to six right it's, it's in our it's impossible right otherwise that uh, e equals to infinity and then q equals seven is impossible right because it's too small okay so there's p equals three contains this okay and then how about p equals to four right so the remaining case is p equals to four so you get this Okay, and the possibilities is that uh, Q is, uh, Q is, f uh, let's say Q is what? Okay, so Q, right, you can, we can solve it. So we get the, uh, we get Y over Q minus Y over E. It's basically uh, this one, right? And we do the same thing, and uh, one can show that uh, right this Q should be, and one can check how many Q. So Q must be greater, uh, larger than, uh, less than four, right? But Q is also already has a constraint, so the only possibility for this Q is three. And then you get cube, right? So for each cube, right, it's Q is three, and the uh, size is four, right? So this is the only the remaining case. But how about P equals to five? Right, P equals five. Oh, we have Q equals three, right? But so the only so one may so the final case is that the final thing is that uh, uh, one can check P equals to four and Q equals to four, and this is impossible, right? And the reason is that uh, one over four plus one over four equals one over e plus a half. E will be infinity. So let me say P Q cannot both uh, greater or equal to four, right? So let's finish the proofs. Right, so there are only five of them. The reason is that if we count three, then we get three, 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 four, and uh, three, five, right? And by symmetry, you get five, three, right? And then we get the, uh, we get the, uh, let's say four, three, right? So these are all the possibilities. Uh, okay, oh, by the way, you can also do the symmetry from this. But you, but this tells us that PQ cannot both, from this, that tells that PQ cannot both or greater or equal to 4, right? So this finish the proof that there's only, these are uh, 5 the remaining class to prove the, to give the platonic solid. Uh, so what I think this proof is very interesting is that, uh, actually, you can uh, use this proof to get the information of this EF. Also, uh, and also check that uh, you can also check that uh, they always satisfy this okay and uh, uh, sorry about that uh, in my proof that uh, I missed something okay but uh, most of these correct okay. so this is the uh, quick proof a uh, detail proof of uh, why there are uh, these are platonic solid and I will see you guys in the uh, next videos. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my interesting math channel.